I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we, anyway? A forest in central Tulbikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q-Mor? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining. Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you... I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> Sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder. It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> Thank you. 
I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say, it still feels good to be back. Can I get you Pansy some tissues, or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry. All right, all right. Flynn was asking for Estelle to come back with him, right? The knights can't help thinking that the best place for a princess is a castle. He's just worried that he won't be able to keep track of her. But Estelle decided to set out on this journey on her own, and you want to respect that. I haven't really thought about it all that much. The knights are bound to keep following you, though, as long as Estelle's with you. And what kind of a guild would we be if we didn't get into trouble with the knights? I don't think fighting with the knights is actually a guild requirement. So even the Union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yup. That's why he told me to come keep an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural, considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well... The Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm... It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongrist. In particular, about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So, are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah, we'll all meet down at the harbor then. What's the matter, boss? Mmm... I don't know if I like you calling me that. The boss is the boss. What would you have me call you instead? Just call me... whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. It makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. <laughs> don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. 
Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it a little at a time. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger, too. Let's make the best of it. Yeah. I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing, but I let Qmore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Qmore. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. <laughs> he will get what he deserves. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh, yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but... There are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but... I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack, so I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. believe we have to travel with you what you ain't happy well I'm not exactly jumping for joy you're too glum lighten up didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil that was only because you had to I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor you still remember that some people just don't know when to give up I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gasparos, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're gonna be traveling with us, but might as well make the best of it. 
What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm. Ah, well, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Are you going to look for that Qmore guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What, you figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. All right. So weren't you going off to look for Qmore after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already, I'm just going for a walk. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that pharaoh whatever? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. What are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But... You're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this pharaoh guy, right? She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. No, <laughs> Have it your way, then.
Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. So, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, I... um... you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, <sighs> to be young again, I tell ya. You got something you wanna say? Whoa! Down, girl! To the harbor, then.